Since I hear about you signing with D.L. McQueen. No way, Adrian. Yo, Mr. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you I to... ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head. Motherfucker, this shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight. He ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, 
I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax, Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. <sighs> I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. It was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight on your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here and seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well. Being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the ring.
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to. Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks.
want to see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I going to do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How does your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus! Uh. I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. I told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Well, this could come down to the disposition of each fighter. Chavez's chances could depend on how he does playing that role of ultimate underdog and how his opponent does of playing the role of heavy. There it is! Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Did you see that? And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? His trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? Wow! Antonio Chavez is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Bishop's your winner by technical knockout. Saw a little bit of everything tonight. You know, you saw he could fight inside, outside, and you saw he had a pretty good set of whiskers, too. Solid victory for him, and for us, we say goodnight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. 
quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Heavyweight action headlining our fight card here at the Mexico City Plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. What a curious path it's been in the career of Andre Bishop, the we went over the middleweight the prospect, room. now fighting fight. his second fight as up. a heavyweight. He will do so tonight against Raul Castillo. So round one is underway between Bishop and Castillo. We'll give you something to look for, at least what we've been hearing out of the Bishop camp, is that they're very conscious of the body punching of Castillo. So look for Bishop to try to do that. And bang, and away he goes. He just went down. The infighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's OK to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, Maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Castillo's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Solid. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Castillo's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. There's a right hand. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Castillo's trying to find a way to survive. The way he's doing it right now, he's holding on. He's clinching his opponent. And they work on it, just like you do in other sports. I mean, football, you work on a goal line defense. This is his goal line defense, making sure no touchdown is scored. Or no more punches. Huh? Good defense, just covering up down low. Very accurate with the overhand right. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Okay, listen. You could throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Throw in volume. Castillo's confidence almost completely shot at this point as we start this round. He just went down again in the last round, and it seems like he cannot get out of that spot. Time and time again, he's finding himself on the floor. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Raul Castillo. Able to show you his blocking ability. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. 
Castillo's nailed by a hook. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Castillo's doing exactly what you would expect him to do after being knocked down earlier. Now he's punching. Yeah, he's doing a nice imitation of an Oscar punch. And you know what? If I was in his shoes, I'd be doing the same thing. Nice job doubling up the jab by Andre Bishop. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Up and cut! <laughs> scored with any piece of help? I don't think so here Teddy now I know where they got that saying falling like a sack of potatoes one two three four five what a soap opera it's been for Andre Bishop and now you can write a new chapter his second win as a heavyweight he knocks out Raul Castillo here in Mexico City. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. <sighs> Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. <laughs> well, 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 will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. This is a big step up, kid. This next guy is a legit top 20 heavyweight. Now, people still think that you can't hang with the big guy. They think that uh, you're just a blown up middleweight. Well, I say fuck him. People say that I'm just maybe a, a crazy old man. And if you think about it, maybe they're right. Maybe I am just a crazy old man. But you know something? It isn't what people think, Andre. In boxing, it's about what you know. What you know in your gut. What you know in your heart. And I know in my heart, <laughs> you got what it takes. And I know in your heart, you know you got what it takes. When you come right down to it, all that matters is heart. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? He's my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. 